I, I really appreciate it. Stay hydrated. Okay. So when I'm thirsty, I should drink? Y yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Crack a window. That does nothing. Shut up. Check on your senior and uh, your elderly neighbors. No, I'm not doing that. I don't know my elderly neighbors. I don't know my young neighbors. I'm not checking in on anyone. Make sure you keep pets out of a car. Th thank you. I, I hold that position, generally speaking. Just don't let your pet just, you know, suffocate in your car. I got it. It's just we never get anything good. I will say this because Como today had a story I wasn't necessarily anticipating. And now I'm going to have to kind of put this on my, my list. It's, it's almost like a combination of all those other stories into one-ish, kind of. They write... The summer-like temperature, summer-like, by the way. Summer that's a good one. That's Thank a good one. The summer-like temperatures in Western Washington had people outdoors and soaking up the sun over the weekend. But those hot temperatures brought an increase in heat-related illness, illnesses calls for first responders. So there was an increase in illness related to the summer-like weather during the summer-like weather. So you went from zero during the winter, because you know what you're not going to get during the winter? Summer-like illnesses to seven calls. They say seven calls specifically for trail rescues with potential heat exhaustion. So it wasn't even a confirmed heat exhaustion. I got tired. It was potential. And really it was, yeah, I got tired and I didn't want to have to go all the way back. I already, you know, this is a big deal for me. I made it all this way on you know, Mount Si. We used to throw in whatever. I just, I can't do it anymore. I think, yeah, it's it's heat stroke. Did you find, first of all, did you find a shaded area to rest in? Did well, you that properly hydrate? That would have changed everything. Did you properly hydrate? Eastside Fire and Rescue Battalion Chief Peter Davis says people don't always prepare for the heat. People are excited to get out and experience that and um, may not realize it can be hotter um, away oh. from the water. Oh, is that uh, so? They may not realize how hard the hike is or they may not be prepared for it. Okay. Does anyone actually believe that? I mean, how many people don't know that? Well, if they're having to rescue people. Yeah, it, they're, they're lazy. It's miserable for people like John. Poor John, he's got a family that doesn't have an air conditioner. And so they try to get creative to stay cool. We don't have air conditioning in our house, so we have to use the little units. Um, and then trying to get outside. We have sprinklers, trampoline. We'll put it under the sprinkler. Um, try to make sure we stay hydrated. Lots of water. That doesn't sound safe at all. So, first of all, you're exerting extra energy during the heat wave, but you'll say, but Jason, he's got the sprinklers on, which is not ice cold water. It's, it's room temperature water coming out. On a trampoline? You never heard of that? Is that not That's like a, dangerous? I don't know. Do you not slip well, on first the off, trampoline? Well, first off, he said put the trampoline under the sprinkler, which that doesn't make any sense. Well, he means like the arc I get, of okay. the water. I guess. I, well, I've seen Where it. Where else you put, would you put it? No, you put the sprinkler underneath the trampoline so it goes up through the bottom. Are you jumping? Yeah. And you don't think that sounds dangerous? 